Straight back into it with the Telegraph, and after being caught running a conveyor belt of baptisms to help asylum seekers game the system and stay in the UK, the Church of England has admitted they might have been scammed. Oh, do you really think so, you wet lip frock wearing dunces? Nicholas, tell us more. <laughs> we may have been scammed by asylum seekers, admits Church of England. Where, um, when, where, where to start? I used to be an interpreter for some of these asylum seekers yeah. uh, and their interviews because right-wing comedy in London doesn't pay the mortgage, uh, <laughs> alas. Uh, and I remember in one of these interviews, as the potential asylum seeker was um, reviewing uh, the Home Office interview with the legal representation, paid by the legal aid, by the way. So the question from the Home Office was, so have you converted to Christianity now? And he was like, yes, I have, I have, I swear to the holy Quran, I have converted to Christianity. <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> that's a, that's a non-starter. <laughs> we see this lady, the right reverend Dr. Guli, or uh, Francis Dehghani, of Iranian origin, by the way, um, says that, well, you know, there's some small percentage of abuses maybe, but it's hard to look into people's hearts, which is surprising because I thought the, ch the church should be the expert of looking into people's hearts and, you know, and, and yeah. spiritual motives. And also, it, if, if you can't look into people's hearts and see what religion they are, then don't say, don't yeah. tell the Home Office that they're Christian and they should stay in the country. Yeah, where they and can sometimes then... sponsor and support their, their application. And by the yeah. way, it's very easy to see if people are um, genuine converts or not. Because if they want to join the Church of England, of all churches, of course they are, they are not genuine. Who would want to? Church, <laughs> churches in England are so empty. Islamic, <laughs> Islamic terrorists, even though, unlike in France, they don't even bother attacking them. No, yeah. but not even the English want to go to the Church of England. By the way, today, uh, 11th of February, I understand, is the anniversary of King Henry VIII. The, yeah, declaring so himself. Leonardo, Leonardo, Leo and I were just talking about that before we come out. This is, <laughs> this is a church created, you know, from the real church, which was founded by St. Peter in the eternal city of Rome. This church just ha happened because Henry VIII wanted to go through wives like Taylor Swift goes through bad boyfriends. All right. <laughs> and these guys come here and, 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 and the priest says, yeah, I have baptized hundreds of them in the English channel. Surprise, surprise. Who would come to England? Okay, it's like coming to England to play basketball. If they come to join the Church of England, they are bogus. Okay, easy as that. <laughs> okay, I mean, Paul, do you think we need to end these asylum rules that say that, you know, if you, if you say you're Christian or if you say you're gay, then, you know, we, you have to stay because we can't send you back. Because for a start, you know, if they did get sent back, it's not like he's going to get off the plane in Afghanistan, mm -hmm. Abdul Aziz, to get off the plane, mm -hmm. and he's going to be like, hey, guess what, guys, I'm Christian now. <laughs> who, was, you know, who wants to set up the, the gallows for me? No, he's going to, you know, if he is genuinely Christian, he's, he'll probably keep quiet about it. Well, to answer your initial question, yes, they should absolutely stop it. It shouldn't have been in place in the first place. The church are willfully naive when it comes to this stuff. Yeah. The bad guys know how to play the church because the church tell them exactly how naive they are on a, on a daily basis. I mean, I, I've, I've got a little bit of the skin in the game here because... Um, you were an interpreter for the Immigration Service. My, my father-in-law, uh, was uh, he was uh, an I.O. for 40 years. And we were just discussing, we were together yesterday. Oh, and what? Uh, immigration officer. All oh, right. Sorry, I just used the lingo without, uh, <laughs> without explaining myself. Yeah, so he was an I.O. for 40 years. And he was saying that they tried this stuff for years, years and years ago. But in that time, yeah, an immigration officer were much better trained. Yeah. They were skillful people that had been trained to deal with this stuff, and they could see straight through it. Yeah. And if, so, if they didn't believe it, they pointed it out, and they went, no chance, mate. You know, I'm not pulling the wool over yeah. my eyes. Well, now, and sadly, said, public sector organisations are systemically woke, so they probably encourage people to, uh, to knowingly cheat, and uh, they, don't, they don't see it as, uh, as something to yeah, be... Yeah, that's why they sabotaged it. previous um, Home Secretaries such as uh, Priti Patel and Srila Braverman. Yeah. That's the deep state resisting against the, the democratically elected government. The woke blob!